Hello, it's Cost Equation. It's an update to my employee program. I'll just run it real quick. Okay. All right. So I upgraded. Well, I did hyphen it the last time, and now I transitioned it to hyphen JPA. And I'm a, next. I want to do Spring Data. So. Uh, this is my data configuration, uh, basic data source, connection pool, um, it's the same, and the local container entity manager factory bean, uh, this is, so entity manager factory is what is used for JPA, um, I'm new, not that fluent with, uh, IntelliJ, so, <laughs> um, Hopefully I don't have too much trouble. Uh, it's very nice uh, IDE. Uh, I was using it last night and uh, worked out really well. All right, so here's my application in case you haven't saw it. Uh, all I do is um, I enter a uh, person and an address or employee name and address, and then uh, I want to enter it again. I get this error message, and so everything's working good. I also implemented some uh, Angular J just for uh, that's how this works here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I'm going to be doing that afterwards. Um, all I want to talk about is the uh, JPA that I did. Um, so that's that. Um, uh, uh, um, this is the transaction manager. And this one's a little different than the last time. The last time I used that as a bean, but for this one I had trouble, a little more trouble. So implements transaction management configurer. Uh, you can with the Hibernate you can actually just implement this right in the same class if you wanted and have have the method in here without actually needing uh, another class, as you can see here. Um, but with this, with the JPA, uh, because I'm using the local container entity manager factory bean, that's got to um, produce the entity manager factory, and then that's used um, with the JPA context. So, yeah, it's just uh, this is a good way to go about uh, implementing the transaction manager so you can use this transaction manager configurer um, like I said you just implement and then you can use this method and the way I do it is just pass back a new transaction or a new JPA transaction manager uh, in this case and I pass the uh, entity manager factory in here um, this doesn't know about the uh, bean yet but it does get created obviously so um, it works just fine um, so that's why that's got a red line there, um, and this will tell me the same thing, I think, uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get into the, uh, container lo local container entity manager factory bean, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so here is the, uh, Hibernate JPA vendor adapter, so what you need for this is the data source which gets passed in um, and yeah data source gets passed in <coughs> um, the JPA vendor adapter yeah so use that um, there's different ones depending on the platform you're using but I'm using Hibernate so the Hibernate JPA vendor adapter is the one I'm using I'm using a MySQL database um, so these were set, these four setters were set originally with the uh, Hibernate properties on the last time. As you can see, I still have two set with Hibernate properties. It's really just properties, I call it Hibernate properties, but uh, you just use a uh, Java Util properties for this. Um, and you, yeah, so I don't know, you could probably set these all, but these are the four you can set, and then if you want to add, set other things like I want to use this uh, set the auto 
um, to create so it drops tables my entities and creates new ones because I'm testing and that's the way I like to do it um, so yeah you can add extra properties if you want to do that and that's pretty much it so you can set these four these are the only four that are have setters so you can do that and then if you have others that you want you can do this as well and then this is where I actually create the this long name I don't want to say that again <laughs> uh, local container entity manager factory bean okay uh, creates one of those and then you can set data source set the JPA vendor adapter and then set JPA properties which you can add these extra properties if you want and set packages to scan um, that's one of the differences there's two of these the container I believe is for Java configuration and with the Java configuration you can scan and I believe with the XML uh, really it's mainly going to be used probably for mapping your entities so with this you can use the uh, set packages to scan and do it this way uh, you don't so I don't have any XML I don't use any XML uh, so that's uh, uh, one good uh, thing about using the uh, container and the uh, Java configuration I don't know um, depends on your preference I guess so that's that returns this and then uh, pretty much everything gets handled so I went over to transaction manager I went over the uh, any manager factory bean and uh, that's pretty much it yeah it's uh, pretty simple oh I probably want to mention um, oh yeah there's actually, <laughs> actually yeah I had uh, quite a bit of trouble with this hibernate JPA vendor adapter um, so you want to make sure you have a repository um, what happens is this uses the spring ORM uh, the spring framework ORM uh, package uh, let's see if it's up here so uh, yeah JPA vendor hibernate JPA vendor adapter so uh, I had I kept getting a class not found exception and so I definitely want to uh, show that so you want to have this uh, hibernate entity manager and that's what fixed it for me also if you have other hibernates uh, frame other uh, repositories uh, dependencies for hibernate they might conflict so you might I, I removed all my other hibernate and I just put this one in uh, that worked for me um, I'm not using any other hibernate uh, but I did try uh, to use the Hibernate uh, JPA 2.1 which I figured would be the one that I needed that would um, <laughs> uh, seem like the one that I would need but this is actually the one you need if you're using that um, Hibernate JPA uh, vendor adapter so uh, yeah if you're having any trouble with class not found I would uh, maybe comment out or remove your other hibernate and you definitely want to get this one right here so uh, the entity hibernate entity manager um, and uh, that should hopefully fix it so um, my repository uh, I have persistence context you can use persistence unit and get the entity manager factory if you want to do that um, the way I'm doing it is you use persistence context that's how you get the entity manager over here and my getter my get employee method uh, the query is the same uh, the uh, create it's it uses entity manager so we use the session factory for before for the um, hibernate and we had to use the um, uh, get current session uh, with the transaction manager so this way we can use persistence context and it will uh, give us the entity manager and then we can use the entity manager here and as you can see I use uh, create query and this is the same exact query I didn't change it at all uh, from the uh, hibernate um, and the only thing I had to change here was I think I had set string here um, with the hibernate um, query so I'm using, I should be using JPA now um, so I've got a couple of things here 
uh, I <laughs> don't really know the hotkeys. Uh, I've been on uh, NetBeans, um, but uh, let's see right here. Um, uh, so we have the query here. So I'm using Java Persistence. Before I was using Hibernate. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's all Java Persistence. There's no Hibernate. Um, so with the Java persistence query, I use the set parameter, and I'm uh, pretty sure the Hibernate has a set parameter as well. Um, but yeah, with the, the JPA, you want to use the set parameter. That's what I used. Um, so it's a little different, very uh, slight difference. Um, the query get result list I had um, get single result but if that returns null that will throw an exception um, so in this case I will be having it return null um, and so employees is empty return null or else we can get the object uh, cast it to employee and pass it that way so um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, uh, the save is the same except instead of you know the session and save I use the persist and I, if I use the merge I have an issue uh, with it having um, an object still in transient uh, I, I think so um, I use the persist here I also have a many to many relationship um, so yeah uh, that's what works for this. Um, yeah, so you can use persist, uh, merge, and uh, there's some other options. Uh, I don't know if I can pull up a list real quick. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff you can do. Um, yeah, transaction, that's familiar. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can persist, refresh. Um, remove um, find uh, uh, so and there's merge there so um, yeah okay uh, uh. so yeah that's pretty much it for this this is just a method I use to check uh, if the employee address already has that address and I'll go on to the add controller here uh, all I did was refactor this uh, employee admin JP repository and the code is the same uh, repository in the same places I'll go over the code in case uh, you didn't see my other video uh, so I just um, take a uh, HTML uh, HTTP uh, server re request and uh, I use that for the post so create a model and a view here uh, use the post here to get the uh, information I was posted, name and address, and then I use the name and address to check the database if that employee exists. And as you can see it will return null if it doesn't. And if it doesn't we we'll just create a new one and then uh, save the address to that employee. Save the employee to that address because they both have uh, collections and because I'm using a many to many relationship and repository save. So we saw that method. Uh, and then over here, I use this contains address, like I said, just to check if uh, this employee already has this address. And then uh, if it doesn't, then it's okay to add that address. Uh, again, just um, add the address to the employee, add the employee to the address, and then uh, save it. Um, and over here, if the address already, the employee already has that address, then get an error over here, uh, add error message. Employee address already exists, and uh, you can see that here in red. Employee already exists, uh, and that's it. That's my application so far. Um, thanks for watching.